Hi, I'm Marcus McKeown and I'm talking to you today from Ireland. And Foster asked me to say a few words, to talk to you, to introduce you to the experience that I've had in Ireland in relation to what's happening. And there is no doubt, all over the world, Ireland included, life has changed. In so many ways, I could say it has almost completely changed for everyone. Why? Where did it come from? Where is it leading to? They're all questions that we can answer. Um, but for now, I just want to let you know that what we have discovered here is that if you stand up to the system, and by stand up to the system, I'm, I do not mean violently and I do not mean aggressively. If you stand up to the system powerfully in the context of asking the right questions, you will set yourself free. Most of what is in the world, most of what is in society, most of what's in the banking system are illusions. They are figments of the imagination. They're very compelling illusions, but they are nonetheless illusions. They are created by our willingness to believe in them. The power of belief is phenomenal. What you believe in will become a reality at some level or another. So it is with the banking system. We know the bank has no money. That's, at this stage, most of the world is aware of that. Uh, not so many understand it, but we're aware of it. So, so it is with, with most of, of what we have in life. It's illusionary. Your idea of who you are, it's an illusion. Your idea of what you're capable of, it's an illusion. Your idea of what you cannot achieve, it's an illusion. You can achieve whatever you want. You can go wherever you need to be. You can discover whatever you need to discover. Everything is there to be taken from the field of potentiality, the unified field, the oneness where everything exists that you are a part of. How can you not achieve reaching what you are a part of or what is a part of you? You can. And what we're discovering here at the moment is that if you begin to ask questions about who you are, who am I, where did I come from, where am I going to, why am I, you'll begin to resonate and vibrate at a level of knowledge and a level of, a level of awakening that will give to you a new insight, a new vision, a new understanding. And with that, you can change everything. We have discovered by asking powerful questions that the court cannot take your home off you. We have discovered by asking powerful questions when the sheriff comes to take the home off you that he has or she has no right to be there. We have discovered by asking powerful questions that not only did the bank not lend you money, but the only loan that happened was the loan that you made to the bank when you created the money that they're using. We learn by asking powerful questions that when your solicitor gets the check to pay for the mortgage, that is the bank repaying the money that you loaned them on the back of the promissory note that you signed that created the illusion of the money in the first place. We have discovered that the bank isn't really all that interested in doing deals with people in Ireland. Surprisingly, we have people who've gone to the bank and said, we will give you what, what we owe you, but we ask you right off the negative equity. And they said, no. I discovered by asking questions at a senior level in the banks, that the bank is not interested in doing a deal because a deal means that you will pay them only so much back in the next 20 years. And they know if they're a little bit more patient, they'll take it all. They know that they will get your home. If the system allows them to take the home, they'll take it. Then they will get a tax-free write-off on the defaulted debt. Then they will go for a judgment against you, so you have to repay the debt anyway. Then they will sell your home and they will keep the money they get for that sale. Then they will be the underwriting party that provides the mortgage for the new buyer and they will profit from that mortgage. Then they will divide that money into different bonds and they will sell it on the market again and make more. The bank do not want to help you. The bank, and let's not, let's not blame the bank for doing something terrible or wrong. The bank are being true to who they are. That is the nature of the bank, to make money on the back of your sweat, blood and tears. They're just doing what they were created to do. The challenge is for us to recognize that, that the problem is ours, that we're allowing ourselves to continue believing in the game, and we need to stop that belief and change our perception and move forward. Asking powerful questions gives you powerful answers, and if it doesn't give a powerful answer, it will give a powerful silence. Either will do all you need to do to break free. I now live debt-free, I will never borrow again because I have stepped out of the game. I have signed out as being a citizen of my own country because I'm happy now to realize and recognize that I'm a child of the land of this planet. Everything has changed. Everything has become clear. 
and I live now with no fear and I'm asking you and encouraging you and inviting you to give yourself a chance. Let go of the anger, let go of the upset, connect in with Thrive, connect in with the movement. You don't have to become a Thrivian, if there's such a word, but you can allow yourself to avail of the information, the work and the study that Foster and his wife and their team have taken the time and put the finance into creating for you to learn. This is a moment of evolution. All that is happening is that we are evolving as a species, we are evolving as a race, we are evolving as a being, we are, we are evolving as a universe. This is a moment of learning. It's like breaking through an old shell into a new shell. So allow yourself to break through, even if it's painful. Allow yourself to break through focused and knowing that this is part of growth. We are becoming enlightened, we are becoming aware. All of the systems are going to collapse. They will go. It is not possible that they continue and sustain how it is that they are. You need to be awake, you need to be aware, you need to be alive, and you need to be strong, confident, and fearless when that happens. Because it's going to be up to you and me, Foster and people like us, to put in position the understanding and the support that is needed to allow those who haven't got there to survive this. Uh, be strong. Be in your heart, be of vision, do not be afraid, and I will see you somewhere, sometime. I wish you well, and uh, keep up the good work, and thank you to Foster, thank you to his amazing wife, thank you to their team, and, uh, yeah. and thank you to the people of Ireland for what I've learned. Gurama Hagat, Slán Bát.